Hello. Uh, not too long ago, uh, someone posted a question on my video where I reviewed the Tamron 17 to 35 2.8 to f4, asking how it compared to Canon 16 to 35 f4, and that's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it. So the question before us today is the 17 to 35 uh, 2.8 to f4 Tamron lens, which I reviewed a little while ago and which I like tremendously. How does that compare to Canon 16 to 35 f4? So I've done some shooting, I've done some testing both at the widest angle and the most telephoto angle for both of these lenses. I've got example images to show you and we're going to break down exactly what these look like and what my uh, conclusion is comparing between the two. As always, everything that I do is brought to you by Camera Lessons Online where we're dedicated to teaching everybody more about proper photography skills and good foundations of photography. I encourage you to check it out. But in the meantime, let's take a look at these lenses. So here we're going to be comparing the Canon uh, 16-35 f4 and the Tamron 17-35 to uh, 2.8 to f4. Uh, and that's the lens that I reviewed a little while ago and, and really liked. So I shot two sets of images, and you will have to forgive me. Uh, they were shot about an hour and a half apart because, uh, well, I got busy. And... As a result, they're shot at two different times of day. This won't uh, affect the uh, ability for us to test um, the quality of the images, but it does change the color because this is all because of sunset. So these warmer images are from the Tamron uh, 17 to 35 28, and these uh, more neutral uh, uh, images are from the Canon. Uh, so don't let the, uh, the fact that we've got really warm images here uh, throw you off. So first, let's take a look at color and contrast. And I really want to take a look at this image here. Um, so here we are uh, shooting. And this was at uh, f4. Uh, both of these were actually shot at f4 here. And I want to go in to 100% and take a look here. And take a look uh, of from shadow to lit area and highlight against a really bright blue background. And I have to say, I think contrast is really beautiful uh, with this lens. It, it separates light and dark really well. It, it has wonderful color contrast. And I'm not doing this at f8 to try to give it the best uh, look possible. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting it uh, wide open for this particular lens and really getting a, a quite nice result. I think color with the blue sky is beautiful. I think contrast is beautiful. This is really uh, providing a nice image there. So you really can't go wrong uh, with this uh, lens. So now let's take a look at uh, shooting the same thing with the Tamron. And I may have overexposed this image a little bit, so I apologize for that. But taking a look at contrast from shadow to highlight and blue sky, Again, I would say this is another really good result. So for contrast purposes, no chromatic aberration, really bold color, really nice contrast from both lenses. Now let's take a look at edge to edge sharpness. Now we're gonna start at 35 millimeter and there's really not much of a story here. Uh, so here's the edge of the frame. Uh, let's move on over. So this is the edge of the frame here uh, versus the center of the frame. So center is absolutely beautiful. If we look at the edge, uh, it's really almost no loss. This is a really nice edge-to-edge -edge contrast at 35 millimeter. If we pull up the Tamron, we're going to see uh, that it's, it's a pretty similar story. So uh, possibly, if we go back and forth here, you could make an argument that possibly the Canon is sharper at the edge at 35 millimeter. You, you could make that argument there, and, and it, it might make some sense. But now let's go to the wide angle and look at the edge. And so here's our edge-to-edge -edge sharpness at 16 millimeter with the 16 to 35 f4 Canon. Here's 17 millimeter with the Tamron 17 to 35. And now we have the opposite situation. Markedly, I'd say the Tamron is sharper at the corner there than the Canon is on the right side of the frame there. And let's move over 
to the left side of the frame there. And let's look all the way at the top left corner. So here we have top left corner there. Top left corner for the Tamron. Tamron sharper in the top left corner as well. So I'd say that the Canon is a little bit sharper in the corner at 35 millimeter, but the Tamron is sharper in the corners at uh, the widest angle. And so that's, that's an interesting result there because if you had to say which is more important, the widest angle or the most telephoto angle with this lens, you'd say the widest angle. So, by the way, I want to point out one thing. This shadowing here and here, that's just because of the time of day. That's not vignetting. Uh, I, I moved just to be able to prove that. But I, it, it's not a vignetting thing. That's actually just a shadow on the wall. So, sorry about that. Uh, but don't let that throw you off. So, which one would I prefer? Um, they both have beautiful contrast and color. So, I, I can't differentiate them there. Um, I care about, for this lens, the sharpness in the corner at the widest angle rather than the most telephoto. The Tamron is also less expensive. As a result, uh, I would choose the Tamron between the two. That would be my preference uh, between these two lenses. Uh, and that's if completely if we disregard the fact that you can hit 2.8 with the Tamron at the widest angle. Even if it was an f4, I would still call it the superior lens. So those are the two lenses I was asked to compare. It was really a pleasure to take a look and compare notes on them. I hope that you found this uh, useful or at least entertaining. As always, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. It's free. You knew that. And I thank you so much for taking your time to watch. I'll see you next time. Bye.